So yeah, we in the place. Kiss FM, feel the music, 96.1. Ain't here to see my boy Naughty and I, man. Promote my uh, single Life Goals for the EP title. That's the EP title single Life Goals. You know, you all pick up the Life Goals EP. It's something dope. Check it out. Yeah, boy, I had to pull up one up right there, man. Mr. Money on the ground is in the building, man. And yes, sir. Always a pleasure to see my good brethren. Big on, a.k.a. the Todd man, a.k.a. the Brad man, a.k.a. Mr. Money on the ground, a.k.a. I've been fresh from back in the day, a.k.a. Uh -huh. huh? What's going on, uh -huh. daddy? You good? I just keep saying, uh -huh. to all the, yeah, you know. You know. That's your trademark, uh -huh. AKA's, AKA's, uh huh? <laughs> yeah, say it again. Who trademarked that ass? Uh huh? Big that's on. That's my trademark. Because what? Because why? Because so good. You know, I just want to copyright that one too. You need to put that on my shirt, right? Uh huh. Yeah, we can do that. We can do that. Thank you. So, what's you good, brother? I, I just want tarts. You can pay me in tarts. You don't mind. All right, that sounds good. Everything so, is good. Bring it's me up the snuff bag on, man. You know, everywhere I go, man, you know, you be part of mischief and behem and You know, you, everybody know you're my good brother, man. Everybody yes. knows I represent for you whenever I get a chance. Because yes, I, yeah. I believe in your music. I believe in your product. Don't forget, I had the little stint on the show. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. On a show. Yeah, yeah. On a show. You don't know ratings, no matter what people. No, no, it's all good, it's all good, it's all good. But you're the Yankees now, but you know my door is open, man. Are you ready to do what you need to do? Yes, it's sir. all good. Yes, sir. But um, bring me up the stuff, man. What's been going on with you? Everybody knows you did the the Money on the Ground project. Mm -hmm. Then you been off. You, you did some things fine. You had the Kid yeah, Tide project, which was absolutely project. dope. Yes, it was. It was and, and it, it needed a little more marketing. And that's much, that nice local boy who holding up on the music. I coming to see you, you know, because I know where you live in Adelaide, and I can free you up. Stop joking, Oto. It's all good. It's all good. It's no you love still my boy, but you're yeah, joking now. No love lost. Everybody doing doing other things. Um, uh, but the King's Eye uh, Project, as, as I, I took my hat to you. That was a good project, man. Yes. I was good to see you go it's over there and, and, and get out there. And let's be real. And like I told you then, I can tell you now. The only reason why they, 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 that got it forward is because of you. Because to me, them other dudes was... They, 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 but you, you was the I, man who stood out on the tracks, boy. I can put it this way. Um, but that 242, uh, I, 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 was was I was a writer. Like I was a writer for the, for the King's Eye Project. Um, I could never discredit the production the production um, work that was done by those guys because it was a collaborative effort and it was it was really a dope project it was but a dope project but to me the uniqueness of that project was that the was the was, the, was the, the the whole uniqueness that big on brought he had that bohemian style on top of everything and he had that ah uh, in the building you know i keep it real big on i, I don't care how feelings get hurt that's just how i roll i got you but because i rather be hated for who i am than love what i done. If, if you ask me that's what i thought it from then to this day when i still bug out on them tunes it's like they're gonna destroy this track boy. i appreciate that bro and that's and that's it's not just me to do every it's, time it's, it's other mean, people in the industry who sit there and say wait hey you know one of the most underrated dudes who is grab a mic and steal your track and mash up the whole thing is big man say you just are you asking are you telling fool Respect, honey. So, that. I'm glad to know you're still doing you, man. Yeah, yeah, you know, right now it's all about life goals. It's about life goals. Um, I, um, but them children, the US, them children of yours getting big and graduating from St. Anderson thing where their life goals need to be life, mommy and daddy need to have some life goals and chill out and that's catch themselves. Well, we've we been doing uh, what we could do it between here and there, you know what I mean? And uh, we've been hey, doing you traveling me. and then moving here and there. That's, that's, that's kind of like what. Spur. When you told me that the other day, yeah. and I had to do the shout out for for, for little big on man, I was like, I tell him I did it in the day. She said, well, big on got another one graduated. Yep. I said big on his wife is my heroes, but I I could be, we could be. I said yeah, but we could be like them one day. But eight years <laughs> drug, yeah, we could be like them one day. <laughs> I appreciate that, bro. But I mean, if any, if anyone want to go check it out, you know, you can check it out on YouTube. Just check out my YouTube channel, Big On Bodhi on YouTube. You know what I mean? And that's Big On D A I G O N. Yeah, Bodhi. Or uh, you know, check out. Just type in Big On, and you will you will see the, the channel up there, and and you can check out the promo video. Um, Definitely. Know, um, I know you got ready to do that. And, uh, so let's uh, let's talk about video. that. We, we, we talked about, you know, money on the ground, and last thing we, we kind of left off here locally, you did the King's Hire Project, and right. you've been basically back on the grind doing your thing, right. in studio, making it happen, because you always look to tweak your sound, too. You don't come out, you don't want to sound the same way every time Big on come out, which no. is always good. Well, yeah, but you, that's, that's you, where you, I was You've done well to reinvent yourself each time. I appreciate that, bro, and that's, 
That's how you stay Coming relevant in the game. Was, had to reinvent itself in exactly. the That's how you stay relevant in the game. You know what I mean? That's how. That's, that's what longevity is all about. You know what I mean? You gotta gotta be consistent, and then you gotta you know be innovative at the same time. So, so tell us about Life Goes, man, and um, the track happiest moment. Well, I gotta give big respect to you know Shadi, so time Shadi. Um, Shadi in the building. Yes, sir. Uh, he he put out. He he blessed. I'd say he blessed all of the Bahamian artists when he put out that um the, those free tracks on on that piff and put it out there. You know what I mean? That you know the the best two tracks can get a video. I'm still waiting for my video, Shadi, because you know I didn't send you my tracks, but it's all good. But cool. I gotta give him I gotta give him big shouts out and respect because I love like majority of all. I could basically say all of those tracks was fire. And um, I just picked four of them and I did an EP. And uh, I also gotta give a big shout out to Mark in the Day in Commonwealth Studios because that's yeah, where I recorded I recorded all the work and that's Mark in the Day, but that's that very hard too. Yeah, and and so Shadi too, I gotta give Shadi credit. He always puts out the beats, man. Exactly. But one one project I remember a couple of years back, man, him and Porter collaborated on one with, with real people with Judah the Lion. Oh yeah, yeah. And that yeah, was a ridiculous yeah, track right there. So yeah, Shadi been doing it, man. So yeah, props to Shadi. Shout outs to Porter too, you know. I, I see Porter. him out there on, on social media giving all the tips and everything to, Wait, the, to the young behemoth artists and that's a that's a I good thing. I had to call you know Porter the other day. I said, Porter, you know what, man? I don't know what it is. Maybe I'm getting old. Maybe a short term memory loss trying to come in. But I'm looking on Facebook and going, Wow, this Raul Sims looks so familiar. Who is this right? And then I realized Facebook then got ported and made him use his real name. Yes, sir. And I was like, yeah. wait. I think government name is it's Simsy right there. But yeah, bigger the port and Abigail always got a lock and go in. And he yeah, that's a real invention too, you know. That's a real invention for But he got he got a kid down there, Asher man. That kid Asher that he working with, man, is off the chain. Yeah, man, Porter doing big things, you know what I mean? As far as like like you say, music. Abaco got a lot of good music coming out of there, too, we'll thanks to Porter. Yeah, you know, everybody go check out Zarafino over there if you and Abaco, you know, that's part of the studio. You know, Porter always doing Porter. big things. Yeah, man, but yeah, you, so, back to you, man. So yeah. tell us about Life Goals. Tell us about Happiest Moment, man. All right, Life Goals. When I heard Happiest Moment, the beat from Shadi, automatically I knew what I wanted to do with it. Um, I just sat down and I, I zoomed out and I basically spoke about moments in my life that would 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 be or are happy moments one of them are achieved like the second verse for happiest moment the one that's on the promo that's on youtube that you can find on big on Bodhi at youtube see young right? man artists, that's how you promote your product did you see that that's called segmenting your product he lets you know about the youtube page let you know about the twitter you see you know what i'm saying okay yeah man you know that's the run right on right now so you know if you go and you check it out you know that whole verse the second verse and by the way you could buy you could buy uh, Life Goals on iTunes right now, too, so you could hear the second verse. The second verse was inspired by my son's graduating and the fact that he was graduating and I was going to be able to see that. And, you know, further, further than that, from him graduating from high school, which is, which is me, I just visualized, you know, my feelings and, and what my wife and my family would be doing, you know, at that moment. You know what I mean? And you gotta and be proud, cause I know it. You, you all been through it, man. You all, you all done your, your due diligence as parents, man. So I'm yeah, proud of you to see y'all get your parental parole with another one graduating. Cause yes, sir. I, st I still in, man. You all come back and drop something yeah. on the comments there, you know, cause you know, <laughs> I think a couple of years to go. Well, I got like four more to deal with that too. So <laughs> yeah, for you know, so I got more life goals to go. And then I got another name for the EP. The EP was supposed to be named, you know, the Purge, cause some of like a lot of you know, I, I had a, I had a, I had an idea to like get rid of some stuff that I had before, but a lot of the music that I heard off off of the tracks from 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 Jody, it inspired like this song inspired like just right. New, I, I I could see new, one new, thing one thing about you you passionate about your music, and so when you get beats that you like, I can right. see the passion. I can see. So let's get to the track right now. Respect. Happiest moment, man. And on iTunes right now. Be sure to check it out. And of course, we'll be back uh, to rap with Big On right now. He'll let you know and show it all the way. Again, where you can get all the music from. You need to collab where you can link it. But let's check out the latest, man. Happiest moment, man. Right here, right now. He's Big On doing it to you. It's Mischief and Mayhem in the AM. It's a 242 Spotlight. Let's go. Huh? I like this thing. I think it's yeah. a solid. Judah the King, Drew Jostel. Here we go. Uh -huh. So listen to the song, man. So listen to the song, you know what I mean? Oh, that's good, man. It's my shit. Put that on the camera. I don't care. Oh, man. I got something for you, too, bro. 
That's why y'all new school rappers can't see no old school rappers like this nigga right here. And if it wasn't for the old school, wouldn't be no goddamn new school. And who don't like it, don't like it. I keep it real, you know the deal. Uh huh. Yes, it will. Huh? Oh, for real? For real? To the king, to Justin. No respect, man. Yeah, I ain't gonna shit that way. Huh? Boy, me gum party on my children graduating from college. So I'm looking naughty for my feet. When he knew. 96.1 Kiss FM. Old school everything. And today's R&B. Ah, yeah, you got it locked and loaded the mission, man. I'm in the AM, and we're wrapping up your 242 Spotlight, man, with my good red ring, Big On, and Big On, you're back, buddy. Happiest moment, yes, definitely feeling that cut. Yes, and sir. What I like, and I got to go on record, because I always tell people, I said, you know, a lot of people have come down the pipe, but I still think the quintessential Bahamian hip-hop cut of all time, there still is the watermark, is overseas by my boy them. Yes, sir. All right? Yes, sir. But I'm chilling in trees. Huh? In the greens. We're gonna get them solid in the green, in, in huh? the green like Paul Molly, huh? So you trust me. Probably yeah. get your hey. reason, but you're even sometimes standing like three for the day. All right. Right. But yeah. listen, what I'm saying is that set a mark for what I call Bahamian, like 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 like, like the Bahamian, like the Maboy them style. Yes, sir. And I think over the years, man, you and Paul have stayed true to that style. All right. And, and, and you know, you know, you know, I keep it real. Yeah. You know, I keep it real. Yeah. For, for moments, I'll say one more for moments in his career, and I got a couple more. I give you yeah, 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 Papa yeah. Smurf and Freebird oh, for course. sure. Yeah, yes, do that. Yes, and, and for moments in his career, even though he, he's dabbled and tried some different sounds, gotta give Whites his credit too, man. Because oh, Whites, yes, sir. He, Whites he, for a minute, Daddy Whites, even in and his character, he embodies yeah, that. You yeah, know, yeah, white jungleism. So big, big up. And yeah. then, like I say, I think. Don't forget dose. Yeah, dose. And I just overdose her. And I was, because I was just about to call slaughter, but you called dose right before I say yeah, slaughter. So, slaughter, dose, and dose, and slaughter. I could be honest, the whole 150 click, you know, shout out to them too, you know. Yeah. They, 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 they under like that, that they, they on that lane too, right? You know what and I mean? They're they trying to keep it. And when he decided to drop some it off, Bahamanese on him, Ducky too, in his own right. Oh, yeah, he decided yeah, yeah, to drop yeah, his Bahamanese, yeah. but. I say that to say this, Definitely. that pocket of you guys have, 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 have come together, have stayed together and stayed true to your, to, to, to your vibe. And, and I like the uh, Bahamiana mm -hmm. thrown on the track, man. Of course. And done in the way where it's palatable so folks from the States, if they listen See, to it, now they start bugging out on it. Watch this. You got, I remember, you know, I've been in this little while, I remember when the hyphy movement was out and I, I, saw, I saw them dealing with hyphy and, you know what I mean? And then, uh, the South came out and their slang started to get understood. And the only way we can really stand out in in the in the game and being original is if you know you what I mean. Stay original, you, yeah, and be you. original. You know what I mean? You can't you can't sound or be trying to sound like like them. You know what I mean? I I can see you getting inspired by a sound, a particular sound, and then you finding and honing your own sound, but using your own dialect and using your you know which. I mean, to each his own. If you don't want to, if you want to, you know, be, do you want to use your American, you know, slang and, you know, you get down and you bang and all of this and that, you know what I mean? That's that's cool with you. But for me, you know what I mean? I, ins I was inspired by these guys too, but I still wanted to maintain my originality and so that whenever I do get out there, it can two be four, said two that, to hey, the world. exactly, it can be said that, hey, that, that guy is something different, he's something special, but he thorough in this craft. That tight from top to bottom. In the craft. You yeah, know what I mean? Go, so he got his own thing. You know what Ain't nobody mind if you're not hip hop about. You know what I mean? If you look at all the big stars, they thorough in the craft, but they have their own thing. You see what I'm saying? For real. Future, uh, uh, Drake, Wayne, or I could go on. You know, all the big names, thorough in the craft. But let them know. Their own thing with brother. There you go. Only and I have something for you too, man. You know, you got me. That's a little from Todd, man. This is a little something I learned from Pac, and not too Pac, deep Pac. Okay, shop rock. Yes, sir. You know, <laughs> you know, I'm behind it, my brother. There you, you go, man. man. That's something for you and the wife. You know much, what I mean? much appreciated. But anything, yes, anything you know, a label for you and the wife automatically becomes the wife. But it's all good, man. <laughs> much appreciated. Much yeah, love, man. Uh, glad to see you doing your do. Get your info out real quick, cause yeah. we gotta go to break. Let them know how they can link with you and do your quick shout-outs, man. All right, all right, y'all could find me. My website is 
GoldenCoconutProductions.com. I do have publishing now. That's GoldenCoconutProductions.com. Golden Coconut. Yeah, jokes off there for that. You can find my website. You know what I mean? I have Instagram. Golden Coconut. It's not like a yes, sir. Golden Coconut Productions in the building. You can find.